Yeah, about 15 hours. If you wake up at 3 in the morning, you can watch tennis a lot of times. That's perfect for me. It is Since I wake up every day at 3 in the morning. Cryer turns, fade away, short, didn't draw iron. Bridges saves it by throwing it off Nolan. A heads up play by Jalen Bridges maintains the possession for the Bears. Uh, once again, though, Groves doing his job off that high PR. Just staying with it, even though he lost his balancer, a late contest, you can do that when you have the long wingspan of Groves. Bridges is wide open for a go-ahead three for the Bears. This is their fourth made three of the game. And 17 three-point shots. And it's the Bears up by one. Got a flash of the hill. There you go. Sure field looking at that zone defense. Kicks it to the corner. This is a three that's off the heel. We're going to get a push underneath on Baylor. Somebody pushed Tanner Groves. It's on George. We're going to see Bridges here come off this action. That's good job. You're going to see up top by Cryer. He comes off the first screen by Bridges and then screens his man. And the lack of communication by OU leaves Bridges wide open for a three-point shot. Two quick fouls on Keontae George, just two in the game for Keontae. Imagine that, Mark. Screen the screener. Like little actions yeah. like that end up working. Use it. Nice speed. And he found Tanner Groves again. That gets the Sooner crowd back in. And we're under four minutes to go. Bridges a three from the right corner. Wow. And for the second straight possession, Bridges with a three gives Baylor back the lead. And Bridges is a 22% three-point shooter and have, has made two daggers of the game about comparing them to the Golden State Warriors of college basketball. That fluidity that they have offensively, finding that rhythm and knocking down shots is what they've been doing later in the second half. It's an open three from the corner. Missed by Sherfield. Baylor now with a chance with over three minutes to go to try to make this a two-possession lead. It has been nip and tuck both ways here in the second half. Neither team has had larger than a six-point lead all game. George shoots it. Hill interrupted that shot, made sure it didn't get to the rim. Great defense by Hill. I, I, I tell you, for a guy with his size, his frame, he is constantly in the pocket of Keontae George. Rose passes out of the double. Nolan surveying. Tanner Groves, one hey, dribble. Groves, take your time. A little short. Thamba got knocked to the ground. Saved by Jalen Hill. Catch the ball in the middle of the zone. You got to turn and face. Fade. Jalen Hill, the floater from the baseline, ties it up. Keontae George gathers, shoots. Groves, quick outlet. Sherfield finds Yuzan. Here's a lob in transition to the sophomore CJ Nolan. Timeout, Bears. And making reads, changing speeds in the first half. Yeah, he is a closer that this team needs. I'd like to see the ball in his hands down the stretch. Just one timeout left for the Tough Bears. Shot. Wow. Bridges, his third three of the second half. He has made some huge shots for the Bears. Played extremely well in their last game against Texas Tech. 
And really just carrying that on in this game here on the road again against OU, making three big time threes in the second half. Bears by one with a minute to go. Sherfield, tough shot. Flagler rebound. Smart Scott Drew wants it slowed down. Yes. Smart play by Cryer right there. You don't need to push it. You control the tempo of the game. You get a great shot. You use as much of the shot clock as possible. Baylor trying to secure their fourth consecutive Big 12 win in a row after dropping their first three. There you go. Clear out of side. Two to shoot. Cryer, three up. Got Ooh. it! At a huge moment. Adam Flagler buries it. Two possession game. And Scott Drew, a huge fist pump after that three made by Flagler has made it 62 58 Bears. I mean, what a performance by Baylor not playing their best game and finding a way to be there when it matters the most down the stretch. Bridges with a sidestep three here. Gets him on the pump fake, sidestep, knocks down his third big three in the second half. And then I told you yesterday, I talked to Flagler, I said, who are you in the big moments? Do you want the ball in the big moments here on the step back? Tough, difficult, fading away from the basket three to give them a four-point lead. What a performance down the stretch by the Baylor. Bears. Oh, my goodness. Baylor was the, the final game of the day in the Big 12. When we're done here, we'll send you to Virginia Tech Clemson. Got to go. Got to get something fast. Eating up a lot of time. Down to 12 on the game clock. Yuzan. Way too much Here's time going. being eaten up. Down to six. Down to five. They got to put it up. It's blocked out of bounds. And now with just four seconds left, Baylor has pretty much iced the game with that long possession by OU without getting a shot to the rim. Baylor just being assertive defensively in that zone slash man. I mean, who knows? It was like an amoeba defense. They were all over the place covering so much ground. They have any shot. They got to get a quick catch and shoot. Got to shoot. A dribble. And all that's going to do is maybe affect a two-point game with 1.3 seconds left. I mean, I, I, that one would be tough to overturn. And obviously, again, the call that, on the floor is Baylor ball. From that camera angle, that's tough to overturn. Kelly Self gave it a look, one of the officials. Now the three officials over there by Porter Moser. Looks like take a different look here. You kind of get screened by the, the, the foundation of the basket. Yeah, but you, you the see the clock. extended left hand of Keontae right there, and it's... That left hand, that, le that left middle finger right there on that last freeze frame. Is it the last to touch the ball? That's, that's tough. Are we sure that was Keontae's left hand? Oh, you're going to see right here, look. See that that the right hand right there underneath. Is and that Yuzan's hand wrapped underneath? No, that, that's Keontae's left hand there. His right hand's on top of the play. His left hand's going for the ball. And that's, oh, yeah. There you go. That yeah. left There's middle left finger hand. right there. It's... It's the right hand of Uzan, left hand of George. They are going to add a little bit more time ball. Yeah. to 1.1, but it will be Baylor, Baylor ball. ball. Okay. Not enough evidence there to overturn that one. That was the right call. Once again, 1.1, get something going towards your basket, not their basket. There you go, throw it deep. There you go. Touched by Flagler, time runs out, and Baylor survives it on the road. Their fourth straight win in conference play as they take it by 260-260. I tell you, if you're Baylor, it doesn't matter how you win. All that matters is that you did win.